Hi. Okay, last time we, um, we completed this part of our book spine, and I went ahead and did, did some more stuff so that we could talk about it. But this was our Wheaties box, or our Wheatables. And what you've got to do next is get your chipboard and get it, oops, tipping things over here, get it attached. So you can do two things, one of two things. You can actually buy some light to medium weight chipboard, which I did use here. It's, um, I think, a 30-pound weight. It, it, it just isn't real, real stiff, but it's pretty stiff. Can you see how thin it is? I don't know what, what the thinness is, but you can buy it just about on any um, scrapbooking website. Just Google chipboard, and you can find it. Um, and it comes in 12 by 12 sheets most of the time. And the measurements that you are going to need to cut are six, two pieces. You need two pieces, six and three quarters by six and three quarters. The, it's the square uh, that's going to go on the outside of your book. And I'll show you. Here's the book. It fits right in here. Here's your one, rounded spine. See? And this is your cover. And this is what it's going to look like. So after after we decorate it, of course. So I'm going to show you how to cut chipboard because it's one of the least pleasant things I I like to do. Um, so I'm going to put this up for the time being. This is when I measure my chipboard. I'll show you what I do. Whatever the measurement is, six. We're going to pretend this is this that we're cutting the six and three quarters. And once you find your measurement and decide where you want to cut, don't don't put your um, cutter at the end of the chipboard because you're just going to uh, uh, run into it, and it's just going to catch on the edge. So start your cut. And then really, it's going to be a deep score in the middle. And run it up and down a few times. Because it's not going to, in a medium weight chipboard, your friskers is going to cut through. But it's going to make a nice little scoring section. See there? And then, if you want, you can cut through it with the scissors after that. It's the easiest thing to do. Or you can use, you know, once you have the scoring, you can, if you're good with a knife, <laughs> which I'm not, you can put the point of the knife in your line and go down. And it's better not to try to do it all in one cut, make, you know, light cuts. But, um, the easiest way is to, see that went through, is to put it on your friskers, score it deeply, like that, and then break it in half, not totally, and then just take a good pair of scissors and cut it. So, six and three quarters by six and three quarters of your chipboard. If you're going to use the cereal boxes or the cracker boxes, which is fine, you got to double them up. And those you can just cut right away. And um, so you'll need two for the back and two for the front, exactly the same size, and glue them together. That's all you have to do. And then you'll get the same um, stability as you would as if would with this. And what you're going to do then is you're going to lay those chipboards... You know, we had the the um, tape on this Tyvek. This is the Tyvek sheet that we had taped. There's three paces of tape on the other side of this. 
leaving approximately one eighth of an inch on each side. Don't have your spine and your covers touching. There's a reason for this. Leave about an eighth of an inch on both sides for, for actually for bending purposes and also to help put the cover on. So you can, you can see where I've done that. So that's where we are right now. So if you have to pause this tape, get these things cut and put on. Be very careful to put them on straight and it helps if you have one of these um, quilting cutting mats because that way you can line everything up all the way across and, and know that they're straight. Um, this is going to be the cover of your book so you want to make sure it's straight. So here we are. And again reinforce that rounded look. And then you need two pieces of your craft paper. And um, I always have some 8.5 by 11 craft card stock too. So this is what I'm going to use. You can use your 12 by 12 but you have to cut quite a bit of it off. And on one of the pieces of paper, I'll set this one aside for a minute, on one end you're going to put two lines of the score tape. One right at the edge, you see, right at the very edge here, and what you're doing is you're you're making one big piece of paper. And then one right next to it. Right next to it. Because you're joining two pieces of paper, you don't want to waste it. Okay. Get my little dental pick. I always seem to be losing that thing. I hope you've enjoyed my videos so far. I know they get long and wordy, but sometimes that happens. Okay, burnish these just to make sure you got a good stick. And then um, we'll take these off. I hope the light's good. It's nighttime here. I'm walk watching the People's Choice Awards, as it turns out, without sound. <laughs> okay. There we've got just a little bit of tape. And now line it up, just like you did to get a straight line. I'm lining it up on the bottom line here straight line for your I think this is going to be the base of your cover and then just overlap that tape enough so that it there's no sticky oops see there I did. shaky hands straight yep it's straight okay there you go and burnish it. Okay, now you have one long piece of paper. And you are going to lay this spine. Now you want this, the seam, which is, you can't see it in this light, but you want the seam on the back side of the book. So, and then you need to leave, oh, I always leave close to an inch on each side, and edge it towards the left so that your seam will be on the back side of your book. Oh, that looks pretty good, because this is going to be sort of like wrapping a present. That's good. Here we come with the score tape again, folks. Oops, that's not my one I was working on. And we are going to put score tape around all four sides 
and no no yes here 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 not in here all around all four sides okay and just um, either center yours up toward the top or toward the bottom but remember put it towards the left side leaving about an inch overlap and if you got too much down here we will trim that off okay score tape around all four sides not including the the up and down at the hinge put it on here um, let's see do I put it there uh, I think I'm forgetting something let me go look okay I was right I had forgotten something um, first we have to cover this part with adhesive because we're going to lay it on that paper so I've got my score tape all over the white Tyvek because this tape doesn't stick as good to it and um, so there's quite a few one two three four five six seven three on each side of the Tyvek and then four in the middle and then just load this um, chipboard up with this around the edges with your regular adhesive and really cover it good because it's going to lay on the cover and you don't want the cover to move around I just had a feeling when I started to do that that I'd forgotten something and I was right I had so here we go all right enough of that I feel like all I've done is glue and tape and glue and tape and then you can take all this oops fold in all your excess tape pieces and take off all this score tape again a lot of score tape that's why I buy it by the bulk um, incidentally um, this is a quarter inch score tape that's the the kind it comes in one eighth one quarter one half and I don't ever use the half inch I almost always use the quarter inch occasionally you might need the eighth inch but I don't use the eighth inch I use a quarter if you want just half of if you want an eighth inch cut a quarter piece and half but or down the middle all right so you're taking all the covers off of this stuff again and truly you go through about with each book I make almost a whole one of these in fact by the time I'm through I'm sure I will have gone through a whole one they aren't real expensive they're I get them for like two fifty a piece. So, shoot, I'm sticking to my own book here. Whew. All right. As I said, this is the most tedious part, and I wasn't kidding. But it's all worth it in the end. Got to look at it that way. All right. Here's the last one. That was my my goof up that I. Okay, now get that big old piece of paper again and turn this over to the non taped side and leaving approximately one inch on each side except the bottom, that'll be a little bit more. Lay it down making sure that your seam is on the right hand side okay press 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 turn it over and burnish 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 see here's the seam Oops. <laughs> Okay, there you are. 
Now we're going to approximate, I've lost my ruler, just a minute, way over here, eh, wouldn't you know, I'll use something else then, about an inch on each side here, and just draw it down, because we've got to cut, ooh, that's too much. Okay, and we'll leave about this much. And you're going to fold it just like you would anything else, only we don't miter this corner, that we leave it rounded. Okay, cut the excess paper off. doesn't have to be with your paper cutter and then just scissors will do. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight either because we're going to fold these under and give it a start with the fold. cover to my TV channel changer. It never stays on. Okay. Would you believe we're really, truly almost finished with this? I know this has got a, this is a bit much here on this side, so I think I'm going to take off a little bit more because it's going to be awkward. This now is where you cover with the tape. All right. Let me see. Check my instructions. Now's when we apply the tape. See, I've got one piece up here. All four sides of the um, chipboard. This is where I got ahead of myself before, and you just need one strip. And you don't put it over here by the hinges, but you do put it across this one. Right here. Computer must be updating or something. Okay. okay. With this score tape, I work almost strictly left to right when I pull it. So that's why I'm constantly turning my piece around because I can't do it the other way. It just doesn't work for me. I'm so right-handed. Okay, this is the last thing. Oh, 
Okie doke, and you still haven't put tape across those little areas right there. All right, get your burnisher out, your bone folder. Make sure you got a good stick. Because we're now getting ready to clean up the messy cover. Okay, now the first thing, of course, you got to remove your score tape again. That which we just put on, we shall now remove. So, a lot of people use uh, their X Acto knife to lift this stuff up, but all I do is cut my fingers, so I do this. Now we're going to go for a soft, rounded corner rather than a sharp, mitered corner. If you want a sharp, mitered corner, then cut your corner right there and fold it in. But we're going for a soft, rounded corner on this piece. Okay, so first thing you do, let's move the glue out of the way, is fold all your corners in. Straight, just straight in, like that. Get your bone folder out. What do I do with it? Oh, it's right here. Okay. And fold them down. Reinforce that fold. Okay. Turn it around. Fold the next corner in. Burnish your fold. And you can sort of go like that at the corner, too, if you want. Okay, now at this end right here, we shall fold it in. Right in. And that should, it should stick quite well to the tape. So there you go. Alrighty, we'll turn around and do the other four corners. And I left this part a little long, but you can, it doesn't matter. It's going to all fold over anyway. Let me see, let's see. Okay, fold it in. I think this little gun's in the way, so I'm going to move this back. Fold it in. And... Put this one right here, and also fold it in. And then fold this up. And remember, you have that sticky, sticky glue right there, so it will hold. Take my word for it. Now, starting at about the middle, start folding this up because you got to stick it down too. And once you feel you, you've got a good crease on it, give it a little pressure, and stick it down. Hopefully, there won't be too many. Yeah, I've got me a fold that's not holding, but it'll be covered up by another piece of paper. But Okay, burnish that. There will be a cover over that part, but I didn't want it there. Okay, got that. Now you're going to turn it around and do the same thing with this side. like this. Okay, and burnish. Well, 
would you believe my camera battery died on me, but we're back in business here. And we have got our cover folded over, and you'll notice there's more score tape. Um, and then once you get your cover on of the um, basic craft paper, fold them. Don't break the back, but fold them to make sure that you can fold these without tearing the paper or whatever. And this one folds quite nicely, as you can see. Okay. So we are so close, ladies and gentlemen. So you have this all in there. Then uh, you have to put more score tape or more adhesive of some kind right here in that... Um, centerpiece. Don't do it all to the end. Do it about a quarter of an inch up on either side because you've got another piece of cardstock that's going to go right here to cover that mess up. So cut yourself a piece approximately six inches by four and three quarters. That's what I cut. And you just need to put adhesive around the edges of this because you've got it there. And then you need to, um, oh, I've lost that thing again. I am so tired of chasing this dinner pick around. Okay. What happened before was my camera battery died, so I just got this stuff taken care of while it was replenishing itself. But anyway, put your adhesive here and adhesive around this six times four and three quarters piece of craft paper and all this is going to do is st stabilize your spine and cover up this um, last piece of chipboard and nobody will know that you had Wheatables for lunch. Okay, I'm going to take this off. And then this, this will be the last that we will do prior to actually putting on the album. And we'll do that first thing next video. And next video will be the last video. Okay, so you've got this looks like this. And you are just going to curve it a little bit because this is the curved part. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight because it's going to be covered again. Get your bone folder out, burnish it in there. And find that fold that you've got to have in there. Right here. Find your fold because you've got to burnish them. Yeah, right there. And see, this one doesn't want to, it's got an air bubble or something, so I'll have to really work with that. Okay, there you go. Fold up, fold out, fold up, fold out. And you have a very professional looking, oops, well, this will be covered. Professional looking book. We are so close. Look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. Perfect size. Covers everything up. Looks nice. And until I get the next one made, the next um, video where we actually stick it on there, and we're going to stick it on, of course, with these, um, think of what you want to decorate the cover with. Now, remember... I've got this piece of paper. See, you only need um, one piece of paper. One, two, and then the back. This is what's going to do my covers, my front and back covers. So that's the only matting we'll do along those lines. And um, But you might want to decorate. And this is what I got. Because my, co my colors are this right here, 
I'm going to put this little flourish on there. This, probably, this bird's going to be in the front. And then I got um, some butterflies I like. So I'll probably put um, one or two butterflies on there. And uh, maybe a little prima flower or something. You don't want to trash it up too much, but you want it to look very decorative. So there you are. Um, tomorrow, or the next video, is the end, folks. Because all we have to do is wrestle with getting this on here. And it's really not that hard. Because you're going to put our darling score tape here and here. And just glue it on. That's all you're going to do. But the, the trick is to get it... Um, to get it where you want it, right in the middle of the spine, and for to have this bend right here match up with this bend right here. That's the catch. So we'll work with that next time. And I've got to work with this to, to get my folds right. Keep your um, book folded like this until you work with it again, because that way it'll get used to staying folded. I don't know if we'll come up with a way to keep them closed, or you may have your own way. I don't really have a closure for this book. Um, I, I really don't. Anything works good, a headband or whatever, or just leave it so that it's easily open. Or, oh, I know, um, we could, could do a ribbon. I did that for somebody else, so maybe we'll do that, um, get some ribbon to match. I guess ribbon about, what, three-quarter inch ribbon? I'll look for some. But anyway, we're really close to being done, and we will finish it up with the next video. All right. See you then.